Guys, today we're diving in, taking this Bear Alaskan XT, our $1,000 bow build, we're taking to the 3D range. So we're gonna be taking it out, seeing what this thing can do. And I got some high hopes for this thing. I mean, this thing just looks good. And it performed good during testing, out getting it sighted in and stuff. But if you missed that one, please check out the link above. But we'll just go through a quick rundown of what we got on this bow. So the bow itself, Bear Alaskan XT, $500 bow. The next thing, we have a Spot Hog Fast Eddie XL slider, two pin sight. And then we also have Trophy Ridge Hitman Series back bar, front bar. So we have a 10 inch and an eight inch on the back. And then we have the Propel Limb Driven Integrated Rest. And that's about it guys, that, that is it. So check out that bow build. This is a thousand dollars. All right guys, like and subscribe. Let's get into this video showing you what this bow can do. 22 yard. All right, we're just gonna take three shots at that one. All right, there we go, there's the shots. You can see how quartered away this thing was. So that's pretty good shot placement right there. What's left of this elk anyway? <laughs> it's heads laying down there. But let's get to the next one. We're Alaskan XT, this is our second target. Sixty-three yards. I think it's a pretty good shot. I can't I can't directly see it, but I think it's right there. Spot on too. Check these things out. Alright, that's our group right there at 65. Not too bad. That one I pulled. Not too bad though. Alright, we got a bedded buck down there in the bottom. We're gonna try this thing. I, I'm guessing we're probably sitting around like 80 yards right here. So 81 yards. Alright, 81 downhill. I didn't see the arrow, but I heard it smack the target, so I think we're good. That felt like a good shot. That was a little far forward, but this sight, I'm loving this spot hog sight. I mean, honestly, this thing right here, super accurate. And if it wasn't for me using this as a hunt bow, I would have got the .10 pins for this thing make it even more accurate all right there you go 80 yards thousand dollar bow build this thing's killing it all right we've got three arrows remaining so we're gonna shoot again at this bedded buck from a different angle we're gonna see how far this one is 61.5 thing's pretty good guys pretty good I've been eyeballing this bow for a while because I knew it had a lot of potential ah, shot a little low I held low though all right let's go check these things out all right here's our shots from both different groups so from our first 80 yard shot, we have this one, this one, and this one. One was almost in the 10, it's eight, so five. But uh, our second round, so we missed low on that one. 
Uh, then we have an eight and a five and then a miss. But not too bad. We have a jackrabbit box target down there. 73.6. This spa hog site has been performing flawlessly. I mean, there's no wonder it has such a good name in the archery business. And they made it super easy to get this thing sighted in because we sighted in it at 20, 60, picked out our sight tape, and boom, I haven't changed anything since. So strongly recommend this bow sight. I think that one dropped a little bit. Oh, I don't know, I think that one might have got it in his chest. That was actually a pretty good shot. All right, that one's a little left. I think I shot it in its butt. I don't know, I couldn't tell that one. That one dropped. All right, I think that was money. All right, so there's the shots. We were shooting low. Man, I was deceived. I even looked through the freaking binoculars. I thought we were shooting better than that. Guess not. Get this one hung in the wood. Oh. Maybe it's not hung. It busted through the two before. <laughs> so we got that thing out. Doesn't look like it's hurt or anything. That one barely missed its back foot. This one got its front leg. This one got its other, nope. This one missed. And then this one missed. So not the greatest on the 73 yard jackrabbit right here, which is probably about 10 inches wide. 10 by 10 so yeah missed on this one uh, so with this bow some of the things i'm enjoying the most is definitely the spot hog sight very very accurate tons of adjustability i haven't used the two pin yet we're going to probably test that out here in a minute we'll see the propel limb driven rest has been working good i mean i can't say enough about it i'm not a huge fan of a drop away like this with the whale tail just because i like full containment where the arrow is not moving at all so that's why i kind of prefer like a qad style or even just a whisker biscuit uh, but nonetheless this thing has been working great and a lot of people love these kind of rests so there you go the grip is very thin it's like a target bow grip and it feels really nice in the hand i mean it doesn't allow you like any error putting torque on this thing because it's so thin it just kind of cradles in the crook of your hand there it works out great and the stabilizers have been functioning flawlessly i mean if you get rid of the quiver you don't buy the quiver you just buy the back bar kit that's 75 bucks that you're putting towards this and probably it's not even going to cost that much because i think the whole kit itself is like 150 with the 10 inch front bar eight inch back bar so there you go guys that's some of the things i'm loving about this bow so far Let's finish out the range. All right, we get a little bitty pig out there. Probably around 60 yards. We're gonna go ahead and take a few shots at it. 65 yards on the money. Last one was 63 yards on that jackrabbit. Let's actually test out our bottom pin. So I'm gonna put the bottom pin dial on 65. Let's use that one for this target. I just wanna test it out to see if it is accurate and if it's on. Which I have no doubts with Spot Hog, it's gonna be good. All right, we hit the target. <laughs> and guys, when we get down here, you'll see how small this target is. All right, there's two. There's three, let's do one more. All right, what can I say? The second pin, the bottom pin on the Fast Eddie, it works good. We used it for all of those shots right there. All right, that's our little piggy. 
So we had one right in the kill zone. All of these would have probably killed this small little pig. I mean, this thing's only about 20 inches wide. So this right here is pretty much the shot zone for most targets. But let's go ahead and get to the next target. Down there, we got our mountain goat zombie target we're gonna be shooting at. So get this ranged out. We've pretty much been shooting longer distance today. But we might try to go a little closer on some. 77.9, a little farther than I thought it was. I think it one drifted back. Compensated too much on that one. Shot way right. I think that was a kill shot. All right, let's go check these out. I definitely should have looked through the binoculars and saw that we were shooting low besides this one. I think this was my last shot. So that one was good. This one, a little bit outside of the, the kill zone. But there we go. There right, we get us a white tail down here. Not too far on this one. 38. All right. That was a good one right there. All right, I think that's an 11 right there. Last one on this 38 yard shot. Kill shot. I'd say that's not too bad for 40 yards. Probably about a five inch group, five inch probably. They were all eights or better. Can't tell, this target's so old, I can't tell if that's an 11 or not, but pretty good shot right there. Well, that's the star of the show today. She's been doing good. Really loving that spot hog. Just all around, this whole bow is just really awesome. I mean, it just goes to show you what $1,000 can get you nowadays in the archery world. I mean, you don't have to go out there and buy, you know, a $1,500 Hoy and then spend all the money to get these accessories too. You can just go ahead and buy a $500 bow and do the same thing. Honestly, I don't think the results would be too much better if any on some of those higher end bows. I'm telling you, I've shot them all. This one's just as good. Yeah, maybe some of the quality stuff isn't there, like machined parts all over the place, like machined limb pockets. The cams probably don't have as much research and development that goes into that high price tag. But at the end of the day, this thing gets the job done and it does it really well. All right, we got a mountain goat out there at 100 yards. So the last target, we're gonna do 100 yards, we're gonna send it from downtown. All right, wish us luck on this one, because we're gonna need it. And we're the most fatigued on this target too, what am I thinking? I guess I should probably dial it up. There we go, 100 yards on the sight tape. they could do it guys there's no wind today okay so if you shot if you saw our video where we did our $1,000 bow build then you know it was blowing like 30 mile an hour winds and I tried to send it downtown at 100 we hit the bales but I didn't get anywhere close to the actual bullseye or anything like that but this just goes to show you $1,000 bow build can hit some accurate targets at 100 yards It just slings them straight as an arrow, guys. 
I mean, I guess it is an arrow, <laughs> but no deviations with the tuning or anything like this. I didn't have to do anything to the tuning on this bow. Now we are going to do a follow-up video on some things that I know people see with these bows as far as tuning issues, uh, setting up the bow issues like that. But overall, my bow, I don't know what Mike's archery did, but I didn't have to do anything to it. Ah, we missed one. <laughs> Guys, you can still miss with an inexpensive bow, just like you can an expensive one. <laughs> That was my fault right there. That was my bad. There we go, another good one. Guys, I could make any expensive bow look bad. I'm not the best shot in the world. Keep drilling that thing though. Last arrow. Hopefully we can send it town town with this one. All right, I definitely missed on that one. <laughs> Let's go check these things out though. There we go, last target. Wasn't as good as I thought. Once again, I should look at the binoculars. We got three in its bottom leg, <laughs> and then one's a kill shot, uh, and then we missed twice. So I got two arrows I need to go find. They ricocheted off up here in the distance somewhere, but not too bad. Definitely should have checked. I could have pulled those groups up some, and we could have had some better shots. All right, so what are my overall impressions of this $1,000 bow build, and maybe some things we could have done better? Well. Overall, this bow, for a $500 bow, I think this is probably the best bow you can get out of the box for 500 bucks. The Bear Alaskan XT just knocks it out of the park with build quality, just attention to detail, and I mean, this thing's just built like a tank. Uh, the Dart and Consequence, if I were gonna be a tree stand hunter or you know hunting whitetails only, then I would have probably went with that one just because of the shorter axle to axle. But this bow right here for out west, 3D tack type style shooting, which is mainly what I'm gonna be doing. Um, this I think is the overall winner if you're gonna get a bow for 500 bucks to start out on and build something. I know the bow build, we kind of just threw accessories that I wanted, but guys, you can go out there, build your own list, come up with price amounts for each item you wanna buy. You know, we went with the Spot Hog Fast Eddie XL double pin sight. But they make a bunch of different things. There's tons of sites out there on the market that might suit you better. We also went with the Trophy Ridge Hitman series stabilizer and back bar. And that's another thing that you could have probably went with a different brand. Uh, this was just the build that I decided to do. And just to show you what you can do with a $500 base bow. And, you know, I think it does great. Um, you know, in the build, we did include the quiver because I was kind of focusing it towards a hunter's bow but if i was going to be suiting this towards attack or just a 3d bow then just drop the quiver off buy the kit with the back bar and you still have a thousand dollar bow build so i was really impressed with this thing it was pretty accurate and i understand that you know this maybe some of those shots weren't the most accurate but a lot of that's me and a lot of that comes with time with the bow this was the first time i've shot this thing at any amount of distance or you know really other than just sighting it in so i think it done pretty stinking good you guys leave some comments below in that comment box let me know what you guys think about this build and maybe some future ideas for videos because let's face it you know i could have went out and bought any bow i wanted to but i didn't i bought this bear alaskan xt just because it performed so well when i went to a bow shop and tested a bunch of bows out so I shot Hoyt Matthews, I shot the bear, and guess what? I ended up ordering the Bear Alaskan XT after a lot of thoughts, a lot of thinking about what I wanted to buy. And this thing right here is a good bow for you. 
Also, I'm gonna place affiliate links in the description box for all the bow accessories that we put on this bow. And if uh, you're looking to buy one of these, they do have them on Amazon as well. So this isn't like a bow shop exclusive only. You can go on Amazon pretty much anywhere and buy one of these things. So, so it's easily ordered. You can get it in just a couple days right to your house and you can start building one for yourself. Check it out, Alaskan XT. All right guys, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.